um, so what we're going to do today is um, approaching junctions to turn left and right. Okay. Um, before we do that though, let's recap on your last lesson. Um, your last lesson was moving off and stopping. Mm -hmm. How did you get on? Okay, I yeah. think. And what, do you think, what did you learn in your lesson? Um, MSPSL. Yeah, and what does that stand for? It's... You're not allowed to swear. <laughs> <laughs> Mirrors, signal... Um, mirror signal position speed look. Yeah, great. Um, so that's the routine that we're going to use for stopping. Okay. We're also going to use that routine uh, for every type of junction we approach mm -hmm. um, and hazards as well. Okay. So the first type of junction we're going to be approaching, which is the subject that we're doing today, is turning left and right, going from a major road into a minor road. Okay. So the objectives of today's lesson is to teach you how to identify a major road from a minor road. I'll be talking you through the MSPSL routine on the approach as well um, and we'll be teaching you how to turn left and right going from the major into the minor road with due regard and safety for other road users as well. Okay. So that means judging when you should turn and obviously sometimes you've got to hold back and I'll go through all of those situations with you in a moment. So let's talk about turning left first, so if you have a look at the diagram. Um, now a few telltale signs that you've got to um, a turning on the left is you might see a warning triangle on the approach. Yeah. Okay, and that's telling you obviously there's a road coming up on the left. Now you might see that. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to drive straight ahead for the moment. Good observations, well done. So clearance for this car, how much clearance do you think we should leave for them? An open door now. That's it, good, well done. So you left a little bit more than that. Yep, just a little bit. And the dangers of that is obviously people might think we're driving, uh, you know, we're from France or something, <laughs> start freaking out when they come towards us. So we're going to continue ahead for the moment. Position slightly to the right there. Can you see? I mean, we haven't got any centre lines here, but can you see the the road has like a crown, which is the yeah. like the black centre line. So you want to be obviously to the left of that. You can use your driving focal point to help you with your positioning as well. So keep that just on the curb, but not over. So we're going to check our mirrors for the parked car. That's it. So we're looking out for what's behind us and what might be coming up beside us. Yeah. So, we're going to take the next road on the right, coming up where this parked car is. So if we check our mirror, and then off the gas for me, and then right, right door mirror, and then right signal on. Now, you're in second already, so just stay off the gas, no gear change required. We're looking ahead, nothing's coming. Yep. We're looking into the road, just keep it moving. We're going to come out slightly for the parked car, and keep your wheels straight. Then look into that road, okay, now I'm going to turn big now. Okay, hold it there with the steering, now take it off for me. Great. And then we're going to check our mirrors, that one and that one. Now the parked car there, was that a bad place to park your car, do you think? Yeah. How far should that car be away from the junction? Three car lengths. That's it, yeah. And that makes it dangerous for us, because we're having to go onto the other side of the road with cars potentially coming out here. Yeah. yeah. Now we will be approaching a T-junction shortly. And when we get there, I just want you to stop. I'm going to talk you through um, where to look and then we'll move off again. Okay. Alright? So at the end of this row, we're going to turn right. So which mirrors are we checking? Good. And then we'll put a signal back in and just stay off the gas for me. Braking gently. Braking a little bit more. Clutch down fully now. And we're going to stop just at the end of this road. So stop about now. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, good. Into first gear for me. Keep your foot on the brake. Handbrake on. So we don't roll back, you see. Yep. Now find your biting point. Gas. And clutch to bite. Good. Now we're going to look right. Left and right. Can we go? Yep. Good. That's it. Then we go out first. And then we pull right. Big turns. Hold the steering wheel there and then take it off. Lovely. And then we're going to do that second gear order. So we've got 
quite a lot of activity here with the park car, so our first reaction is just checking our mirror. And we'll stay off the gas. That's it. Then we're going to check our right door mirror for this park car. Now we're going to take the next road on the right. You see the gap between the double yellow lines? Yeah. Okay. And then we need to come back into our side of the road. Now this is a really tight one, so I want you to brake a little bit more down to five miles an hour and then into first gear. And then look into your road. That's it, and then we can turn. Okay, so we're just a little bit late straightening up there, so we slightly went out onto their side of the road. What's the dangers of obviously going onto their side of the road? Go into the cars that are on yeah. their side of the road. <laughs> so, um, as you go into your uh, new road, you've got to take the steering off a little bit earlier. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? So you left it a little bit late. Okay. So, uh, we're going to turn left at the end of the road. So. Which mirrors are we going to check? That's it. Putting in our signal. We need to anticipate cars coming into this road. Remember, I just want you to stop at the top of this hill so we're not going onto the new road just yet. We're going to stop and then look. So, that's it. And then brake to stop. Okay, keep your foot on the brake so we don't want to roll back. We'll score on a hill. Into first. And then handbrake off. Okay, and then find your biting point for me. Oh, that handbrake isn't quite up to so pull it up to its tension so it won't go up anymore. That's it. Okay, so guess, clutch to bite. Now our view's restricted on the left here, so look right, look left. Okay, and we're gonna have to creep forwards to improve our view before we come out. Double check the right, look left again, pull into the left as well, pull left a bit more. So using that tax disc and keeping it on the curb but not over, so that went slightly over there. Yeah. Then we check our mirrors, that's it, those two. <coughs> now, Obviously, um, T-junctions is a subject that we'll cover later, but all we've done there was used our clutch to improve our view. Yeah? Okay. So, we're going to turn left at the end of this road. So, our mirror check. And then that's it. Interior and then the left door. Good. Now we're going to slow down to less than five and into first because it's still quite blind into first gear for us and then pulling left as well obviously this park car stopped shorter than it should have so just look ahead is there any cars coming no, no looking both ways again yeah. and then we come out slowly just in case this vehicle moves off okay good doing well now along these straight roads let's check our mirror sort of every four or five seconds okay. for updates it's a new road, new mirror as well, so when you're coming out of these roads, just check your mirror to see what might be following you. So we check our mirror and then just stay off the gas. Okay, look at his signal, looks like he's what well, he's manoeuvring now, but look like it's pulling up. Okay. So we're gonna take the next road on the left coming up soon. So mirror check off the gas because you're having to go on to the other side of the road. So which mirrors are we checking for turning left? That's it, and then our signal. Remember your tax disc just on the curb this time, but not over when you're turning. So keep a good position close to that curb. And then staying off the gas and check your mirrors as we come out that one and that one, because we're having to move around that truck. Yep. If a naughty motorbike's trying to overtake, at least we've seen him before we come out here. road on the left where that pedestrian's walking. What speed do we want? 10, 5. That's it, it's quite a tight one here so we're going to have to slow down to 5 and into first. Because your position, you need to be a lot closer to the kerb. Just break a little bit more. <laughs> okay. 
Now you're in neutral at the moment, so we plop it into second, so clutch down fully and into second, then we'll come out, check your mirrors, that one and that one. Okay, and then what we're going to do, we're going to pull up on the left after the grey car, so we keep an open car door so we don't um, get too close to that car. Um, and then where the raised kerb is, we'll look to pull up just there. So, um, good stop in there, um, however going around that corner, <laughs> um, we lost a little bit of control, mm -hmm. um, firstly our gear change was very late going into the corner, yep. um, and then we went round the corner in neutral, yep. <laughs> which is coasting, okay. um, we also went too far on the <laughs> other side of the road, <laughs> so all in all, we could have died, but we're still here so it's all good alright? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Um, so next time what we need to do is identify that it's a sharp corner mm -hmm. um, one of the telltale signs is we couldn't see anything going into that corner yeah. it's really blind restricted you could see it was quite sharp it was like a 90 degree angle yeah. so those ones we're gonna have to go slower okay. um, so just before you get there one to two car limits way into first gear rather than trying to do the gear change going into the corner yeah. Yeah. Um, you can't do your gear change too early because then the car will be too slow on the approach. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't want to be doing, you don't want to be in first gear sort of 10, 15 metres back because people will start to get angry with us, yeah? Yeah. So you slow down to about less than five, one to two car lengths away into first, and then we focus on our steering next. Okay. Now, we'll keep the tax just, just on the kerb but not over. Mm -hmm. um, also make sure your clutch comes back off, up after the gear change so we're not coasting. Mm -hmm. So next time, um, speed down to five, into first, and then use that focal point to yeah. keep yourself on your side of the road so we don't kill people. Okay. Alright? Yeah. So we're going to be taking the next road on the left. Okay. Just the mirrors first, remember that one and that one, what's behind you, what's beside you. Now we could stay in second for this, uh, okay. sorry to confuse you, but this one's not as sharp as the <laughs> other one, do you see what I mean? Yeah. The gradual ones, where you can see into the road, are going to be second gear. Now I reckon we should come back on our, to our side of the road here, <laughs> and then we'll just pause and stop here. So we'll give them space, clutch down and brake to stop. That's it. At the slower speed, we can push the clutch down, to, and that will stop the car from stalling. Okay. Okay. So yeah, we'll put the handbrake on because we're waiting. So the gradual ones, 10 miles an hour, second gear. Yep and the ones that you can see into the road a little bit. Yep. The sharp ones, the 90 degree angle ones where bushes or buildings are blocking your view, less than five in the first, okay. as a general rule, yeah? Yeah. So what we'll do is, just as they start moving forwards again, then we'll get ready. Yeah. first gear to be ready. Okay, clutch down fully, that's it. We'll start getting ready now, so you, that's it. Let's not release the handbrake till we've looked around us, and also let's wait for them to start moving forwards. So you, that's it, good. Well done, lovely. Oh, we know him. Yeah, that's all right. Just make sure you pass before him then, yeah? Yeah. Let's do that second. So we're going to take the next road on the left. Okay. So this was the one where you um, almost killed us, yeah? So you know what to do, yeah? Okay. I think so. Mirrors first. Then signal. Uh oh, signal, signal. Braking, braking a bit more. Okay. 
Okay. And then we'll go into second gear. So we're just out of gear at the moment again. Okay. <laughs> so pain. check your mirrors. Okay, um, so on the approach, um, stay in second, that's it, keep an open car door. Um, remember MSP SL, so mirrors, signal, position, speed look. So you start jumping for, going for the gear before we've done our routine on the approach. Um, so we'll give that one more go, so we'll check our mirrors. So, but same thing happened there, yeah? Yeah. We're going to turn left at the end of the road. Get ready for first. So, talking about that turning left. I'll need you to change. Okay. So, talking about that turning left, um, we need to. You can do your mirrors and signal as soon as you see the road. Yes, yeah? so okay. you don't have to leave that too late. Yeah. Um, so it was a little bit late doing that part. Um, and then first gear is just before you get there, like one to two car limbs away, yeah? but not when you're sort of going around it. If we've got the speed right and we're under control, then we should have a better chance of keeping our position closer okay. to the kerb, yeah. So we're going to take the next road on the left. This isn't a tight one, is it? Uh, turn left. So this is a gradual one, so 10 miles an hour second gear, so you're all good. Just look into that road early. Just staying off the gas so that the car doesn't run off to the other side of the road. It's harder to control the, the vehicle when you've got your foot on the gas as well, yeah. yeah. So just stay off the gas going into the corner and then as you come out then gradually press it again. So we'll take the next row on the left. Braking a bit more first, you've gone for your gear change a little bit early, so slow down, slow down, slow down, bit more, bit more braking, bit more braking, more braking, more braking, more braking. That's it now off the brake, keeping that clutch up though. So. Did you notice when you brought the clutch up there, the car slowed down, yeah. which gave you more control? Yeah. So what happened there was you were putting the clutch down too early on the approach. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that's why it took us longer to slow down. Yeah. Do you see? Yeah, I get it now, yeah. That's, that's called coasting. Oh, okay. So you've got to keep your clutch up until you've slowed down. Yeah. And then once you're happy with your speed, then clutch down into first. Okay. Okay, so we're going to turn left at the end of the road. And then get ready for first, braking a bit more. Down to about one, two miles an hour, it's quite a blind one. That's it. Just count to three as you bring the clutch up there, so that's why we got the sort of slight bunny on. road on the left. So just our mirror check before we slow down. So again what's behind us. Yeah. If it's following close we'll have to stop more gradually. Remember you need to keep that clutch up, yeah? That's it, good. This is much better. Good. Just your interior then your door. Much better control going around there though, yeah? That clutch was up, the speed was right, his positioning was good. So, we'll be taking the next road on the left. Remember, MS, PSL on the approach, so let's do it in order. So. See how you have more control yeah. there, yeah? Okay, that was much better. 